So I focus on adolescent identity development and um, the various factors that influence how adolescents come to see themselves um, in relation to other people and society and their place in society. Um, for instance, their close peer relationships, um, their parent relationships, teacher relationships, and also um, what they do with digital media. So that's my relationship to the digital media and learning um, field is this connection of how are adolescents using digital media and what impact is that having on their interpersonal relationships and their sense of identity. I think there's a lot of panic around it um, and so what I'm hoping to do in my research is to gather enough data about what kids are actually doing and what it's, what they're getting out of it and are th is there really any cause to be as panicked as a lot of the mainstream media um, sort of makes it out to be. In my dissertation research so far, um, it really seems that most kids seem to be getting a lot out of their digital media use in terms of um, their interpersonal relationships and just an, an opportunity to really express themselves. Um, and there's very little real drastic identity exploration going on with most adolescents. Um, not, it's certainly not the way a lot of um, media portray kids' digital media used to be. Um, and so it's, you know, most kids seem to be doing just fine and getting a lot out of what they're doing. And then there are some kids whose use may be more problematic. Um, and so um, that's sort of what I found so far. Well, I was um, a, a teacher before I was a graduate student. I, I taught fourth grade, so it wasn't adolescence, but I was always interested in um, children's development and their development of relationships and their sense of self. And um, when I first came to the Graduate School of Education at Harvard, I started working with Howard Gardner and he was just starting um, a MacArthur funded project called the Good Play Project, um, which explores the ethical dimensions of young people's digital media use. And um, one dimension, one ethical dimension that we were focusing on was adolescent identity and the ethical implications of expressing yourself online and um, I became very interested in that topic, particularly because identity development is such an important developmental task of adolescence. And it's really interesting, I think, to think about how is that process being influenced by these new technologies that kids have at their disposal that we didn't when we were, we were young. So that's really how I started to get into it. And um, for throughout my doctorate, I've been working with Howard on the Good Play Project and a related project called the Developing Minds and Digital Media Project, which really looks at the intersection between kids' um, cog social cognitive development and their digital media use. And we are trying to figure out how are kids today different from kids 20 years ago. Well, one thing I really want to do, and I think we do a good job at Project Zero, which is the research hub that I work at at Harvard um, is really connecting our research to what's going on in schools and so having been a teacher myself everything I do in terms of my research I hope for it to be useful to teachers and what they do with kids on a day-to-day -day basis so um, with my dissertation research I've given a few talks um, to the schools where I collected data, just showing them the data and listening to their responses and their concerns, their hopes um, around kids' digital media use. And so I really hope to use my research to um, engage teachers in exploring both the promises and the perils of kids' digital media use. Um, but with a, a, a rich sense of what they're actually doing and what they're actually getting out of it. I think this, so many great things happened this week. One tremendous um, outcome of this week, I think, is um, we really, I think, built a sense of community 
and ident collective identity as digital media and learning scholars, you know, sort of rising digital media and learning scholars. That, and I think that we will really continue our connections that we started here and use each other to improve our work because each person here had a very different set of skills and um, knowledge base and theories that they had were familiar with and were using in their work and research that they knew. Um, and so we've all sort of learned from that, but we all came with this sort of similar commitment to really leveraging the possibilities of digital media for kids' education. Well, I, I think, I don't know that it's a particular conversation or event, but it's, the, it's a general sense that I am taking away from this week is a wonderful sense of possibility about what I can do in my own career, but also what, how the impact I can have on education. And it's terrific. And I, if you had asked me in the middle of the week, I wouldn't have had that same feeling because in the middle of the week, things felt destabilized because I was, all this new information was coming at me. I was getting feedback on my writing and everything was a little bit up in the air. And now I've sort of figured out how to deal with it. And now I feel that I've got some great tools, some great connections to really go back and make a difference. So my first item on my agenda is to graduate, <laughs> which, and I am going to be graduating in November um, with my doctorate. And I'm continuing to work on the Good Play Project and now the Good Participation Project, which explores kids' civic engagement online. Um, and what I would really hope to do is well, I guess in the in the sort of the next year, I would like to continue writing about my work and getting it out there, both in scholarly publications. But I think that's another um, thing that I got out of this week is there are so many venues um, that I could get my work out in so that it can really be taken up. And so I would like to be able to communicate my uh, research findings for my dissertation to educators and. Um, various outlets. So I'm going to really work on the distribution of my work this year. I think one of my colleagues at Project Zero forward, forwarded me the call and um, and then I found it on my own just the next day um, and it just automatically I knew I wanted to do it because I had been participating in the first two research associates meetings that MacArthur had sponsored but they were much shorter and they were wonderful opportunities to meet people and get a little taste of what other people were doing. But this week was a terrific opportunity to really become familiar with other people's work in a much deeper way, and get to know people and talk with mentors in a deep way and get their feedback on my work. And that was a tremendous opportunity. So I, and, and I was hoping that that's what would happen is to really get some feedback on my writing to meet people and that's what happened and so I have you know this weekend I want to start writing and making changes to my dissertation.